Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to today's online class. The topic that we are going to trade is crop improvement. It is the second part of this topic. We have earlier treated that of one of three. Today we are going to treat that of two of three. Today we shall look at genetic terms. But we, before we move to genetic terms, let us know the meaning of genetics. Genetics is a branch of biology concerned with the study of genes, genetic variation, and heredity in organisms. For example, plants inherit traits by way of separate units of inheritance. Another word for traits it is characters now let's go into the genetic terms properly we have characters gene chromosome gametes zygotes allelomorph dominant character recessive character genotype phenotype other other ones are homozygous heterozygous, back cross, hybridization, hybrid, and filial generation. Let us begin with that of characters. Characters are also called traits. So characters are inheritable attributes which plant breeders select. Examples of such characters are seed color, seed size, plant height, and disease resistance in plants. Gene. Genes are hereditary units or unit of inheritance. Genes are located in the chromosomes. The genes are responsible for the transmission of characters from parents to offspring. That is any individual, the character that it is possessing is from the parents and therefore it is transmitted from the parent to the offspring through the gene. Chromosomes are thread shaped bodies which are found in the nucleus of a cell and the chromosome contains the genes, that is the genes are inside the chromosomes. Gametes. Gamete is a matured sex cell which takes part in sexual reproduction. There are two types of gametes. We have pollen grains, that is the male gametes, and the ovules, the female gametes. Zygote is a single cell formed as a result of the union of a male and a male and a female gametes. That is, when the pollen grains pollinates the ovule, which is the female part of the plant, fertilization will occur. And when this happens, a zygote is going to be formed. Allelomorph. This is a pair of genes on the position of a chromosome that controls contrasting characters. By contrasting characters, I mean if you have, for example, heights, tall and short. So, tallness and shortness, they are contrasting characters. Dominant characters. Dominant character is shown in an individual without any significant influence of the contrasting character presence in the same individual on the dominant character. For example, if you have a plant that looks very tall, that does not mean that the offspring of such plants will definitely be tall when planted. Okay? There could be a shortness character in it, but the dominant character 
photonics is the one that is presently showing. That is why we say that the tonus the is dominant. Recessive character. This is an unexpre unexpressed character of an individual in the presence of a dominant character in an individual. Like I said, that if you see a plant that is tall, there could be a there could be a uh, a character that is for shortness in it, but it has not yet been expressed. It has not been shown. In other generation of such plants, short plants can be produced. That is why we say it is a recessive character because it has not been expressed. Genotype is the sum total of the genes inherited from both parents. The genotype of a plant is the genetic makeup of such plants. Genotype includes, includes both the dominant and recessive character together. What I'm saying here is that an offspring will have some characteristics and these characteristics are from both parents that is why we call it genotype and here we have phenotype the phenotype is the total of all observable characters in an individual here the phenotype are those characters that are seen that is the phenotypic the phenotype is the physical physiological and the behavioral traits of an individual for example the plant height weight and seed color this can be seen they can be observed so that is why we call them the phenotype homozygous a plant is said to be homozygous if the two members of a pair of genes controlling a given pair of contrasting characters are identical. For example, if you look at this place now, you will see that capital T, capital T, and here, and this capital T, capital T, stand for tallness. This capital T, capital T is what we call allele. So the allele here, the two allele, are the same. And here, the two allele here, small letter T and small letter T, they are also the same. So this means hetero, this means homozygous for shortness. And here is homozygous for tallness because the cap the first capital letter T is for tallness we are right the second one also indicating for tallness is homozygous here we have heterozygous a plant is said to be heterozygous if the two members of a gene controlling a given pair of contrasting characters are different look at the allele for capital T and the allele small letter T they are different so they are heterozygous they are different so and uh, heterozygous heterozygous individual or plant is a carrier of a character is a career of a character or trait that is this very one here that is tall it is appearing that the plant is tall but it's also carrying the allele for shortness in it which can be expressed in future generation
Now we have back cross. Back cross is a cross between an offspring and one of its parents. That is, a particular offspring can be used to cross its parents. This is done to trace the genotype of a particular offspring. Hybridization. Hybridization is the crossing of plants with contrasting characters. For example, if you have two variety of a uh, mango, let's say variety A is having big flesh but small seed in it, while variety B is having uh, also big flesh and big seed, whereas that of variety A is sweeter than that of variety B, both can be crossed to have another offspring that will have the characteristics of both parents. This is what we call hybridization and the offspring is going to have a better quality. Hybrid. Hybrid is an offspring that is gotten from crossbreeding of two pure varieties that are genetically different but of the same species. I've just explained something on this. And hybrid is as a result of hybridization. After hybridization, what the offspring that is gotten is what we call hybrid because it is better in qualities in different characters compared to the two parents that we are crossed. Filial generation. This is the offspring of parents. Okay? The offspring of parents. That is, if you have a two parents of a plant that are crossed together. Maybe if you have white maize and yellow maize, if you cross them together, the offspring that they are going to produce, all of them could be white maize. That is, the, that is going to be called first filial generation. Or the all the offspring that, that are going to be produced could be white and yellow maize plants. They are also first generation as well. Okay? If the first filial generation also produce offspring, such, are, such offspring are called second filial generation. Okay? and on and on and on here we are going to stop here read your notes very well and do the assignments because assignments will be given alongside with this uh, lecture thank you for listening